Hey everyone, I hope you're having a beautiful, what, today's Friday, um, day. So I just thought, how many of you actually struggle with gaining mental clarity? Sorry, like there's school and stuff, it just got out. Um, struggle to gain mental clarity. And so I thought, why don't I teach you the ways I use when I'm struggling or I have emotional episodes where it triggers maybe my depression, you know, it snaps in and out, maybe two, three days and I'm over it. So I have, since I'm wearing white, normally I would sit on the ground right here. So this tree has always been a very comforting place for me, like even growing up as, you know, a kid. So normally I would sit probably right here. If you can see like right there, I would usually sit right there and just ground out and let my feet go barefoot. But I'm wearing white today and it's kind of chilly. So I'm going to teach you how to use the sun and uh, use the earth at the same time to recharge yourself and to ground out. So what's really important is to say and ask and invoke Mother Earth to allow you to ground into her and allow whatever is going through your mind to completely go through a channel from your crown or your third eye down to your root and allow the connection of Mother Earth's um, Gaia's um, root system to take over. So it's really important. You can say whatever you would like. I personally just ask Mother Earth to um, bring me peace, bring me clarity, um, to, to ground me out. And I, I am very respectful um, about, and I'm very specific about my intention when speaking to her. So let's say, um, Mother Earth, will you please ground me out and allow balance and peace to come in, remove these excess thoughts from the crown or from the higher ups energy wise and remove all of that through the energy field into your ground. So please, please allow me to ground out through you and please get rid of this. Thank you so much. And normally I would give up seagrass to say thank you. And then just like sit there peacefully until you feel like you, um, you're good. And then the sun. So with me, usually I sit on the deck to do this and I just like push my arms out and just open myself up. And I usually face the sun, if that makes any sense. So this would be the image, say if I were sitting like right here, I'd be sitting like this in my chair and just allowing the sun to hit. And usually I always keep my more dominant um, receiving hand out, which would be my left. And this would be my giving hand to, to give back whatever energy that's remained stagnant or needed to be burnt off and allow that to come out. So if I were meditating, just not in a chair but inside my hand would be like this or i should say my hands would be like this when i meditate out so i feel everything with this hand especially with like rock shopping um i know this is like everywhere <laughs> but with rock shopping i always feel with this hand because it's more energetically dominant than my right hand so it's more reliable so i just want to tell you if you don't know this for your receiving hand this your last hand is always going to be more sensitive. Now, when I was growing up, this was a lot more sensitive than this. So it took me a while to like adapt. So, and I'm constantly touching and washing my hands at the same time or doing whatnot. So it's really important that I keep my more sensitive hand clean at all times when I'm um, doing energy work or solar work, whatever, meditating, I always want to keep sure that my hand is clean of any energy residue or any type of um, just random finicky energy that needs to be grounded out. So at all times, I like to make sure I wash my hands with warm water, you know, obviously get the germs off, but to do this. Now, if I were sitting in my chair, like I said, I'd be facing the sun 
and my arms would be outstretched like this. And I would say, son, please use your solar out, you know, power to recharge me. Thank you so much for this intention for these warm summer, you know, spring rays. Thank you so much for everything, for blessing me, continuing to help me grow, please. Now, the sun with solar energy, you're kind of like a solar um, panel. You're just basically pulling all that solar energy after you've ground it out and you removed all that through guile. Your like solar battery, your solar panel is your solar plexus and your sacral, but more so your um your solar plexus. So this is your ball of sun. This is the confidence that you have when you go through everything. So you want to make sure when you have solar energy, even with lunar energy, because lunar energy activates the third eye more. Um, you want that, so you need to be very specific about your intent, um, and what you're doing this for. So with solar energy, because you're charging your solar panel to basically pull it into other parts of your chakra system, um, we're, we're going to say, please, you know, revitalize and reiterate, excuse me, revitalize and remove any energy that was not removed through the grounding process please burn that away and wipe that slate clean but please focus specifically on my solar plexus and my sacral allow that energy to come in and to basically reheal any energy that was lost or output and allow the charging of the batteries to really fully take place thank you blah and then give back so usually I do this daily meditation, I want to say at least five to 10 minutes. And since it's a nice day outside, I like to spend a lot more time out in the sun. And so when I'm out in the sun, I'm a lot more happier. I'm not more lively. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a summer baby. I'm a June cancer. So I really do like just being out in the summer weather and warm weather. I don't like winter. I'm not a big fall person. I like good spring weather that's not rainy, it's not wet, it's not cold. I just like a warm summer day with a light breeze. That is my favorite time of year. Just being out and about, you know, less clothes, the better. Um, so thank you for watching this video when it comes time to watch it. And I hope maybe this tip or trick may be helpful to you if you decide to ground out. So thank you. I hope you have a good day.